All right, so I got a couple more hours until that uh, F1 race starts. So I'm going to have to do this really quick. It's like, um, hold up, let me get this straight right. That's the time here, 7.14. Also, that's my wallpaper of Venom. Also, a review of the movie should be, um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or something like that. I'm not so sure. But anyways, how's it going, you guys? It's Spidey, who's 64, back here again. And today, or tonight, we are here to review Chris Busher's number 37, Louisiana Hot Sauce Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for JTD Dory Racing. So, this is the Chris Busher car that we're getting for this year. I was expecting this car to be released in December or January, but it actually came in in, um, I think, August or September. I'm not so sure, but probably September. So, yeah, I'm um, looking at the box. Chris Busher, JTD Dory Racing logo, ages four and up, um, warning logo, barcode, NASCAR logo, and then that's the car that I got as... Yeah. So anyways, now let's take a look at the actual car itself. So, now for the actual car, um, alright, so, uh, this car, when I saw pictures of it, I really liked it, but now when I look at it in person, I'm like, eh, okay, I'm going to explain why it's, eh, Okay, just to point out, um, first off, um, the thing I like about this car are the flames that they put on the side. Those are pretty cool looking flames. Yeah, there's another, yeah, there's a, another car in the field that has, um, have, have, that has flames and it doesn't have the 24 on it, which is pretty cool. They're orange flames. But, you see, here's the problem. Why... Is this car gray? Why is the base color gray and black? Why is it gray and black? I do not understand. I don't understand. Literally, I thought this car was all black. Let me actually look up the outro car in real life. Okay, so this is the car that, that ran at Atlanta. This is the same car that I have back here. Right here. And I see no black. And I see... Gray. I, I don't see no gray. I don't see no gray. So what is the deal? Unless this car ran somewhere else, I'm not so sure. But looking at the car, yeah, it ha it has no gray on it. Shut up, David Land. But, um, yeah, so what the heck? So not to talk um crap about um gray as a color and stuff like that. I don't really kind of prefer gray as a color. It's just kind of bland. It's like a lighter version of black. A little bit but um yeah I'm not so sure but hey um I would but yeah this that kind of kills the die cast for me because I just like all black cars you know because uh, black is one of my favorite colors which is why um which is why um like the spider like the black suit spider-man costume um it's my favorite costume but um end up about spider-man all that stuff so, yeah, not talking about the car. I mean, yeah, the base color does not look good, but with all these sponsors on the side. I mean, look at all these sponsors that he has. I mean, this thing can survive more than Furniture Row Racing can. Oh, man, Orca Flop's going to kill me. But, um, yeah, let's just quickly go over sponsors. We got no Monster Energy banners, even though they sell Monster Energy at um, Kroger. Got the original Louisiana hot sauce on the hood. And he got some flames going this side and this side. He got a Kroger logo. He got the Chevy Camaro nose. 37 Mog Mahal Conk Edlock Sanunco. Got the flames going across. He got Mechanic Wear, Liam, and Flowmaster. Same thing like Almendinger. 37 Tyson. Another Louisiana hot sauce logo. Bunch of sponsors there. I can't read because Chris Busher, the Texas flag, because this fool's from Texas. Uh, Crow Clitless, Bush's best. And you got Downey. All these sponsors, you can all these sponsors on the hood. You can on the or well, on the on the side. You can find in my house. I will literally find. I'll literally find. I'm gonna go to the cabinet right now and just find something. But yeah, 
You got the original busher. And you got the same sponsors that are on the Almond Nigger car. Look at the back. It's um it has the flames, leaves in a hot sauce logo, Camaro. Zeal one back, and then there's the base. And so yeah. Um overall, this is a really good looking car. Um, it's a pretty nice looking car, but, um, you know, it's okay. It's an okay car. If I were, if I were to do, if I were to, do, if I were to customize it, I would paint the gray parts black. Because, um, because I think black, if this car was just black, then I think I would have liked the car, but no. Um, I'll just rate it a 6 out of 10. I mean, yeah. But anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below. What do you thought? What are your thoughts of the car? Do you think that it looks bad with the gray? Tell me what you think. And also, for the first time in a video, I am not autistic. Auth auth there it goes again. Um, autistic. Until then. But yeah. Anyways, um, I'm not. I, I don't have autism, guys. I'm just. I, 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 my videos are just not scripted, and I just don't know what the hell to say. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye!